to be having one of those weeks where it's a delight to be a female host of a once a week comedy show. New York Attorney General Eric Schneiderman resigned Monday night after multiple allegations of physical abuse were published in The New Yorker. This is especially infuriating given his supposed woke banus. Throughout his political career, Schneiderman positioned himself as a feminist crusader. He championed the Me Too movement and filed a civil rights lawsuit against Harvey Weinstein. He put out pamphlets for victims of domestic violence and he helped craft an anti-choking law even though he's now accused of choking his girlfriends. Turns out that law had some fine print. Now, <laughs> Schneiderman was a guest on my show, so this is a little complicated for me to talk about, but just kidding, it's not complicated. <laughs> Fuck you, Eric Schneiderman. No, no. Let me say it louder. Fuck you, Eric Schneiderman. The good legal work that you did for women does not absolve you. It will not give me one second's pause about tearing you a new asshole on television. I give zero fucks. I would do an act titled, My Dad is a Monster if I had to. I already made all the graphics. He ate the last yogurt. I was mad. Eric Schneiderman, you are trash, and we do not need you. Tarana Burke started the Me Too movement 11 years ago on MySpace. It will keep moving forward without you just fine. And speaking of shit we don't need, let's check in with these festering hemorrhoids on the ass of the entertainment industry. It's been seven months since the New York Times published the article that led to Harvey Weinstein's downfall and the Me Too hashtag went viral. That is seven months of kind of holding a very limited number of men sort of accountable for sexual harassment and assault a little bit. So naturally, these high-powered penis weasels are starting to sniff around to see if it's safe to come up out of their holes. According to the New York Times celebrity fancy hot dog maker, Mario Batali is eyeing his second act, which means his next step will be grabbing that second act with without consent. Garrison Keillor is looking for a smart social media person to help him relaunch his radio show online. And to that person I say, good luck trying to get Wi-Fi in the bell tower. <laughs> and Harvey Weinstein skipped out from his $58,000 rehab spa to make a documentary about himself, but he hasn't found a director yet. Amazing considering that even Rachel Dolezal found someone to make a documentary about her. <laughs> Though it is the first Netflix movie that asks, are you still watching the moment after you started? <laughs> but the award for king out of touch, first of his name, most entitled of all abusers, certainly goes to Charlie. There's no way journalism can happen without me, Rose. Former news anchor Charlie Rose may be attempting a comeback following those alleged sexual misconduct accusations. Now, the former newsman is reportedly putting together a new show. It surrounds sexual harassment of women, and early reports say that he is going to have, as guests on his show, other men accused of sexual misconduct. No! The only new Charlie Rose show I want to see is a reboot of Shark Tank, where someone throws Charlie Rose into a tank of sharks. Anyway, something tells me Charlie's show may not happen because immediately after that was reported... An additional 27 women, 14 CBS News employees, and 13 who worked with him elsewhere say Rose sexually harassed them. The Post says on three occasions, over a period of 30 years, CBS managers were alleged to have been warned of Rose's conduct toward women at the network. Turns out the CBS News logo is just an eye that shuts whenever a woman asks for help. You know what, fellas? A little free advice for you. No one knows better than you how many people you've assaulted or harassed. Maybe before you pitch a TV show about it, ask yourself, have all the women I've non-consensually shown my penis to come forward in the press? <laughs> if the answer is no, go away. <laughs> if the answer is yes, also go away. <laughs> if I've said anything that applies to you, just fuck off. Catch you later, fellas. <laughs> anyway, um, in other news, Actually, one more thing, fuckers. No one should be wearing a robe at work. Charlie Rose, you and I basically do the same job. I say some stuff about the news, I interview people, I supervise, and at no point have I ever woken up in the morning and thought, you know what I should wear in front of my employees today? A whisper of a garment that a gentle breeze could render irrelevant. <laughs> wearing clothes at work is the invisible contract we sign when we enter polite fucking society as adults. Okay, I'm done. I am done. 
And by the way, I've met Charlie Rose a few times. I've been on his show, and he greeted me, a stranger slash colleague, with a kiss square on the lips with just a hint of tongue, like a turtle softly eating an apple core. <laughs> Basically like this. At the time, I thought he was just the average gross old man. Turns out he was so much worse, so no more TV shows for you. At some point, many years in the future, we may have a conversation about how serial sexual harassers can re-enter public life. Not the rapist, fuck you, you should be in jail. But if any of you creepy fuckers want to come back, you have to be held accountable. I don't know what the price of redemption is, but all the money would be a good start. Ashley Judd is suing Harvey Weinstein for financial restitution because after she refused to sleep with him, he told Peter Jackson not to cast her in the Lord of the Rings. And God, I do hope this trial allows us to discover that she was up to play Legolas. <laughs> but I'll tell you what won't suffice as redemption, spending six months hiding out in a villa full of martinis and finger sandwiches and poking your heads out every three weeks like perverted little Punxsutawney Phils to go, has it been long enough? Can I have access to assistance again, please? Blanket answer, no. So as long as you want to keep playing whack-a-mole from hell, it is my solemn promise that I will happily pick up the metaphorical hammer to slam you back down and remind you that you have not yet done anything to earn our forgiveness. So take your millions of dollars and pay a therapist to care about how tough it's been to get caught being an abuser, because honestly, I don't give a shit. And as for men like Eric Schneiderman, we really don't need them. You know who's a better advocate for women? Women! Last night, primaries made that very clear. Women ran in 23 open Democratic House primaries in Ohio, West Virginia, North Carolina, and Indiana, and they won 18 of them. And remember Rachel Crooks, one of the women who accused Trump of sexual assault? Last night, she won a nomination for the Ohio State Legislature. The future... The future really is female, or at least it better be, because I am done with this shit. We'll be right back. Yeah!